guys welcome to my channel i am so glad to have you here i hope you and yours are doing well i'm jack yuhani i'm trying to create a cc free base game save file for the sims 4. i've already done newcrest and willow creek so today let me take you on a little tour of my newcrest build we won't be going into each and every lot though because that might take a while newcrest may be small but there are 15 lots Instead, let's go over each of these three neighborhoods for a general overview and let's do that in the order that I built the lots. First up is this neighborhood up here. We're gonna call it Mitong Garden. On these two smaller slots, I've built two starter homes. One is a family starter home with two bedrooms and this other one is a single starter home. I will be including two starter homes like these in each world in my base game save file later a family starter and a single starter so that when you use my save file and you're creating your, your own sims for the first time you could straight away move them into the starter loss of your choice over here we have a park venue i had kept the original lot name midtown meadows because i thought it sounded perfect for a little date setting for my sims it features lots of flowers and a number of activity objects there's this gazebo with chess tables and a small gardening area next to it I snuck in, I think, all of the base game harvestables, including the rare ones, even the trash plant, which I hid somewhere on this lot. <laughs> and on this corner uh, are two public bathrooms. Now, in most of my community lots for this base game save file, I'm, I'm going to be including toilets for toddlers, so you could bring your toddlers along and they'll finally have toilets that they could use on the lot. Up next is this row of mismatched townhouses. Each of them is furnished for different types of households. For example, uh, this one has one bedroom, but lots of space for entertaining guests. And this one includes a nursery for a toddler. I've uploaded a full version where all of these houses are furnished and also other versions where only one of them is furnished. So you get to choose which one of them you want to use. And then over here, we have a simple two-story family home. It has a swimming pool in the backyard and an open living plus dining area with these large windows to let lots of light in. So that's Midtown Garden. It's the first neighborhood I built up with this goal to create a CC free base game save file that anyone can use. Uh, next, let's have a look at Ridgeland Drive. So the houses are numbered from left to right like this. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 Ridge Line Drive. I wanted to build a row of houses that kind of matched each other but not all the same. So, what we have here are five family homes with three bedrooms or two bedrooms, and they all have some room in the front or backyards. I built them in the style of Victorian Greek Revival. That's what I googled anyway for reference images. Most of the time when I build, I use reference pictures of the architecture type that I want to go with. Sometimes I do kind of just make it up as I build, but that usually means it'll take me longer and I don't like to take too long because in the end, all I want is just a simple gameplay friendly lot. I'm curious, how do you guys build up your lots? Do you use reference pictures too or do you just kind of wing it? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, now the house interiors, I mostly kept a color theme going for each lot. But of course, you could just change up any part of my builds to your liking. But for these last two lots on the right here, they have this roofing on top of half wall. And if you change the walls later, these roofs will disappear. But don't worry, it's very simple to put them back on. I'll include a link to a video tutorial on how you could do that. The tutorial is by Kate Emerald, and she uploads so many helpful tutorials that have saved me and my builds. I'm so thankful for them. Now finally, let's look at Lama Lagoon over here at the bottom. I've built it up as the commercial district for Newcrest because of the large lots it has, and I decided to go with a more modern style because I think they fit in nicely with the backdrop there. On this lakeside here are two matching lots. Uh, the right one is a museum and next to it is a library. I really struggled with the museum because the lot is just so big. I never know what to do with big empty spaces, you know. Hopefully what we have here is good. It features this kind of an open basement with minimalist landscaping. I was going for like a modern Japanese style here. 
Next to the museum is this library. Initially, I had wanted to build my own state library, the Sabah State Library, which is one of my favorite places to hang out in. It's just such a cool place with dedicated spaces for different age groups, and they're restricted to the target age group for that space. But it was difficult for me to emulate the architecture in Sims 4. It has a lot of traditional motifs and such. So instead, I built this library to match the museum. And I think it's a much better fit, don't you agree? However, I did keep my favorite part about that library, which is this dedicated kids area. There are activity tables and lots of fun decoration that your child sims will enjoy. Now across from the library is this bar venue. You can easily rework it into a cafe if you have get together or a restaurant if you have dine out. I've included different seating options for your sims. Indoors, outdoors with roofs and outdoors without roofs. This lot has no toilet toilets because I figured you don't usually bring them to bars, right? Alright, opposite the bar is this gym. I really like doing this glass wall thing here that lets in a lot of light. You could change up the workout equipment here to fit in spa day or fitness stuff item if you have those installed. There's also a swimming pool. I think you could actually change the lot type to a pool too. You could even just remove the pool and use this high ceiling space for, say, a rock climbing space to make use of that wall from fitness stuff. There's also a basement level where the bathrooms are, and you could totally expand it to add saunas from spa day if you so wish. Oh, this one doesn't have toddler toilets either, I just thought they won't have much of anything to do at a gym venue, right? Now, last one. Over here is a nightclub venue. It's base game, but I included space for dance floors if you have get together installed. Or you could switch the lot type to a lounge and the game will spawn entertainer sims to play the, on the instruments I've added. There's also this private room in the back where you can place a karaoke machine from City Living if you want. This lot also has a basement level. I've placed a bigger dance area there along with a seating area and the toilets. There are no toilets for toddlers on this lot either because of reasons. So that's my CC free base game only Newcrest build. All of these lots are already available in the gallery. Let me show you how you can easily find them on there. You could use the hashtag JQBaseSave. And there you'll find all the lots that I have ready for my base game save. Or you could go directly to my profile in the gallery. That's quiescence 90 and search for the tag Newcrest specifically. Each item is tagged with the original lot name that I had built it on. For example, uh, this one is tagged Cookout Lookout, which is this lot right here. We've come to the end of our little tour, guys. Thank you so much. Please leave a like if you don't hate my builds. And remember to click that subscribe button to follow me on this save file creation journey. I'll try to have the next video up after 8, maybe next week. And we'll be looking at my completed Willow Creek. See you then. Bye.